So this is going to be basically identical to my Twitter post about this, but you know, it's really important and it's something that kind of needs to be talked about, I think. Um, so, you know, I just want to talk about the common complaints against PVP in Final Fantasy fourteen. You know, we're constantly reminded by Reddit and the official forums that the netcode makes the game unplayable. Win traders control discords where they have secret plans on who gets what rank. And cheaters and hackers have everyone hard stuck in, you know, gold, bronze, silver, whatever. As far as the netcode issue goes, it's really easy to see that there are predictable... Observable instances of skills going live at unfortunate times, resulting in the contact like not going your way. But like any other online game, this is a somewhat predictable issue with online gaming and is nowhere near as bad as people make it sound. I had the honor of interviewing Sen Noodles and we talked about how her experience in raiding made her better at PvP. Lots of mid raiders will shout, you know, I was out when they get killed by an AOE, but we all know you weren't out, you were in it. You just happened to run out of it when it snapshotted and killed you. Um, so, you know, you think you have an excuse. There's a predictable time frame for every telegraph, and if you're not out, you're not really out. Good raiders know and live with the server tick rates, which is where we get the slide casting technique from. You know, there's a knowable disconnect between AOE, telegraphs, cast bars, and then the results of their actions. You know, it's it's not random, and it's definitely not holding you back. It's a nuance of the game that, you know, some people master, some people don't. You might have occasional instances of spikes and ping that result in what appears to be the server batching abilities together in a way that really looks us. But ping and lag and stuff, that's not unique to 14 in any way. The entire fighting game community has undying memes about Wi-Fi users. You know, like, what makes you think that you're in any kind of different situation playing this game? You're going to be playing with and against people that are playing on a Gen 1 PS4 using their phone as a hotspot. It's literally just a part of playing games online. As far as win traders go, it's not a secret that it does happen. We've seen recent... You know, official PvP streams, like for the tournaments on Twitch, you know, have their chat hijacked by people calling out cheaters that are in the chat and it just devolving into craziness. Um, and as much as we all hate it, it's never really going to disappear in online gaming. Um, there's always going to be the little dicks that do this in any competitive activity. The benefit in 14 PvP is that these people are like an extremely small segment of the population. And they almost always get exposed really quick. You're actually, you're not likely to run into actual wind traders very often at all. You know, it, on occasion, still pretty rare. You might run into somebody that's purposely trolling, you know, which would be in this kind of same category. But again, it's still really rare. People that do wind trade, they generally end up in the higher ranks. They're usually already very strong players, very good players attempting to boost their friends or gatekeep their enemies. Uh, you might end up on the wrong end of this arrangement, but it's really not likely until you're already like crystal T100 or something like that. You're not you're not being kept down because of this. Um, and when I say you, I mean, you know, the average player that's not T100. Uh, that being said, uh, every little copy pasta that you see about a crystal council is literally that. Um, I think that these jokes kind of got out of hand because people started believing them. Revival does not have a win trader channel. They did have one that was called like the secret wind trading channel as a joke but i think they just ended up doing more harm than good because people would see the channel or a screenshot of the channel and be like oh it's confirmed whole discords of cheaters so they you know the channel doesn't exist anymore but it literally was just a joke kind of like you know wink wink nod nod um as far as like scripts and hacks go they they you know they do exist it's possible you're going to run into one. However, you're really not likely to, you know, except in rare occasion, once you're already, again, upper ranked. These are things that people use to gain an unfair advantage to succeed, not to gatekeep lower or middle ranks. If they're going to do that, they're just going to troll, which, again, does happen, but again, is still rare. Videos of people moving around while stunned or moving at faster than normal rates, etc., uh, etc., et they're readily found. You can search for them on 
any social media site, they're gonna they're gonna show up. You'll see them. Uh, they're also really easily reportable. These also aren't unique in any way to Final Fantasy XIV. They're used in video games all over. Got you know wall site hacks and aim bots and things like that that you know are everywhere. If you play competitive games, it's just something that you're used to that it just happens. Also, really important to note that most of the XIV player base is not really into competitive aspects of the game, including PvP, uh, and that's more than fine. As an MMORPG, it attracts millions of us to play for varying reasons. People play for RP, story, collecting, etc. It's more likely that when you do see someone posting about why they're not playing PvP and they list the reasons that I just talked about, they wouldn't be interested in it even if those things weren't there. So. If you do enjoy competitive online gaming but haven't played 14 pvp because you've read posts like this you know about oh it's rampant the cheating is out of control i'm being kept in this rank because of win traders etc 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 keep in mind they're not really honest in the context of any type of online competition crystalline conflict rival wings front lines they're all really fun and there's lots of really cool people that play these modes all over the place People make friends, they hold events, uh, and they go after their goals together all the time. If you don't like it, the content that is, completely fine. Not everything in this game is going to be for everybody, but these complaints that I wanted to talk about, they're, they're all scrub quotes material, really. If you're looking for friends, you crave competition, you know, there's really not a better place to look. As far as PvP scenes go, 14 has one of the better ones. Every PvP scene is going to have its toxic toxicity. Uh, 14s is not nearly as bad as some of the other ones that I've participated in. It's far more likely that you'll run into people that are just bad at the game. They're just bad, or, you know, maybe they're griefing. Maybe they're just throwing a temper tantrum. You know, that's just part of playing online games with millions of people.